What's up guys and girls of YouTube, this is the first edition uh, of Laptop Gaming's new channel. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at a problem that most laptop gamers suffer, uh, that's heat. Because at the end of the day they're trying to cram a full gaming PC into this tiny chassis and it generates some sort of heat, especially with these quad cores uh, i7s like I'm running uh, with GTX 970. Uh, a lot of heat's generated and uh, unfortunately the cooling, especially of this laptop being, if we show you here, a very slim design, uh, heat tends to build up quite rapidly and I've found temps of up to 95 degrees in such games as Dying Light um, you know that need a lot of graphical power and a lot of uh, a lot of process power um, so today basically with my uh, first video of this channel um, I'm going to be showing you my solution for uh, the heat problem and what I've basically done is I've brought myself if I come out a bit here brought myself a very cheap uh, folding table, I don't know what you'd call it, breakfast table, dinner table, you know, that you'd sit your sofa with. Uh, that cost me seven ninety nine uh, from a, like a home, home bargain store. Very cheap, very inexpensive, and then what I have done is I have connected, if we show you down here, please excuse the wiring, this is just my test model, not the finalised version, but basically I've got three fans that I've screwed to the underneath of this table and uh, if we just lift the laptop up here a second bear with me you can see I've used a jigsaw and I've cut three 120 mil uh, fans holes and then we're blowing direct air up into the heat sinks the big one in the center there is RAM and the, uh, the copper cooling heat sink on the right here we have the, uh, the fan intake for the, for the GPU, the GTX 970. And then on the left at the back there we have the fan intake for the uh, quad core i7. Uh, so as you can see I've tried just about every laptop cooler there is on the market. And the problem I find is they've either got one very large fan that sits in the centre, which or fans that uh, they're just in the wrong location for my heat sinks basically um, many laptop gamers you know more experienced guys than me more that you know that have been doing it a lot longer will tell you that basically uh, you can't go out and buy a laptop cooler and it works for every laptop you know you're gonna have to uh, look around like I did and try and find one that suits unfortunately I didn't I've tried some of the higher end ones that cost up to 60 pound ish which is a considerable amount of money especially when it's not doing its job they were dropping you know two three maybe up to five six degrees you know not much more anyway uh what i've got is 320 mil fans as i stated they are made by coolmaster they're called jet flows uh they run at 1900 rpm um and they push out 95 uh cmf uh, which is, you know, crazy amounts of air being moved. Now, they are a little bit noisy at 1900 RPM. Um, so they do come with, which is a brilliant little feature, which a lot of, you know, the higher end fan makers do do. They come with noise reduction cables, basically lowering the voltage. And uh, you can run them at 1600 RPM, or they come with another cable that will run them at 1200 RPM. Obviously, you're going to suffer a little bit on the. Uh, you're obviously going to suffer a little bit on the the amount of air they're going to push at the lower speeds. But like I say, I've got three of them, one feeding more air to each fan intake, so processor, GPU, and then one in the centre blowing cold air onto the heatsink. And uh, like I say, I was getting into the mid 90s, which the thermal capacity of these laptops is a little bit more than the desktop versions. Um, I believe the i7 is rated for 110. Um, please drop down in the comments if I'm wrong there. You know, I, I, my aim of this new channel is to to aid laptop gamers or people that don't have the uh, the room and space for a desktop uh, like me. I, I I used to have a desktop. I had a water cooled setup with uh, 
you know, uh, an AMD 8350 that was overclocked to like 5 gig. Um, and I was running two gigabyte 7970 graphics cards. Um, but unfortunately, I've got three kids nowadays and I don't have the room because the spare room is now a baby's room. So unfortunately, I've had to downsize to a gaming laptop. So, like I said, the aim of this channel is to try and help guys uh, that are having problems with heat, having problems with uh, gaming on laptops as such. And hopefully, oh, I will also be doing some videos of like, um, not walkthroughs as such, but videos on, you know, um, basically me playing games then. Uh, should I say um, and hopefully you can get some tips and hints from those um, also guys you can see just down here if a point um, I'm a little bit of a neat freak like I say this is work in progress not 100% finished yet um, so I intend to hide all these cables here and but I didn't want just wires dangling down and uh, and the power source so what I did was I got a little uh, I got a drill and I drilled a hole through this piece of wood, which just the top sits on. And I've put my female DC connector, which if we go around here, the fans are connected to, uh, wired into a Molex. And then uh, off that Molex is some fan fan headers. The reason I've done that is fans fail in time. Now, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube for these homemade laptop coolers uh, in desks like this. Uh, whereas people just tell you to solder them together. A DC outlet. Um, the problem I find with that is if a fan does fail, then you've got to go cutting wires, your wire's going to get shorter. It takes a lot more time. With this, I can just disconnect each fan, change it, swap it out, try different ones, you know, whatever you want to do. Also, when I want to put the desk away, this is a foldable desk, by the way. If I just zoom out here, guys, sorry for the poor quality. Um, I don't have, you know, a really expensive camera, I don't have a uh, you know an amazing microphone this is my first video for the channel um things will get better if if i get if i get subscribers if i get a lot of views then i'm i intend to buy a, a dedicated camera a better microphone and you know we're going to go with the flow but this is just sort of dipping my feet in the water if i suppose we could say just just seeing you know the views and comments i get back um so anyway back to this uh, yeah, so I can, it is a foldable table as I just said, so I can literally just pull this out, fans go off, disconnect all my power, take the laptop off, fold this up, stick it in the cupboard, laptop can go back in my laptop bag, and it's very neat and tidy, and it keeps the wife happy, which is amazing. Anyway, the power is run off, I've seen him running off USB uh, on some videos, I'm not saying that's wrong, I'm just saying that uh, PC fans, obviously, as most of you know, run off a 12, and those of you who don't, um, newcomers, they run off a 12 volt, or it's better to run them off 12 volt, because then they're running at their full capacity. The problem with running them off uh, USB is they're only going to be running at 5 volts. Even if you've got a, an old cell phone adapter, that a lot of them run off USB nowadays, or they've got a USB adapter, um, they're still only 5 volts. You know, because that's all the cell phone needs. So, I went down to my local hardware store that uh, sells electrics here in the UK. And basically, I brought myself, and you can see the wire here, the connector, which is a male connector into a female. Which is, you know, I can disconnect and fold up. So I just stated, excuse Hetty the Hoover there, my partner. Uh, basically, I'm running into a AC-DC converter. Now on the inside of this, I'm not going to unplug it because the computer's running at the moment, we're doing some temp tests. Uh, basically, if you unplug this on the inside, there is a... I can change the voltage switch, so I've got 12 volts, I can do 9 volts, 7 volts, 5 volts, for different applications. Uh, it's very cheap, it costs me $17.99 here in the UK. I don't know, maybe that's about $20 roughly, excuse me if I'm wrong, that's off the top of my head. Uh, I then had to buy myself the uh, the female adapter that is in this piece of wood here. Uh, that was two pounds, uh, five dollars maybe. Um, and then I had the Molex with the fan headers kicking around, and I had the fans kicking around. Um, brought the table that was seven ninety nine. I think I stated that earlier in the video. Uh, so basically, uh, for roughly thirty pounds, I've put together my own laptop cooler now. It's going to cost you a little bit more if you have to go out and buy the fans and the Molexes. Uh, but, you know, 
it's not cheap by any means. I, I've probably spent, you know, almost as much as some of the higher end laptop coolers. Now people are probably going to say in the comments, why don't you just stick with a laptop cooler? As I stated, I've tried them. They don't work if a lot of you probably have tried them. The fans just aren't in the right places for these gaming laptops. You know, because every laptop difference, you know, a Zeus Gigabyte, etc, etc. Uh, things vary. Heat sinks are in different places. So the way I found was best was all of my heat sinks are located at the very top of the laptop. So I thought I'm going to go down the route of making my own. Now, obviously, if your heat sinks are in different locations, it's just a case of drilling your 120 mil holes at a different place in, in the table. Now, this table, as you can see, if I just come up here, this is a 15.6 inch laptop. Uh, it will take, obviously, up to, say, a 17 quite easily. There's, there's room for that. And there's plenty of room underneath for, to locate fans. Now, if we just take a quick look at the tents, like I said, I was hitting mid-90s. I was idling at, uh, this is a Gigabyte laptop, by the way. It is a P35W, uh, it's version 3. And if we just zoom in here quickly, excuse the camera. As you can see, I've got an i7 4710HQ. Uh, I'm running DDR3 L RAM at 8 gig. I actually have 16 because I've upgraded it. Uh, it's got an SSDM SATA hard drive for the OS, and then it's got a 1 terabyte uh hard drive uh which store my games on 8.1 and if we just come over here i will just show you quickly we've got a gtx uh graphics card it's actually the 970 m with six gig of video re uh video memory uh this is an absolute brilliant laptop i had it a great deal from a company here in the uk called overclockers uk cannot uh recommend them highly enough they are absolutely amazing their customer service is great uh, I don't work for them, by the way, if you think I'm bigging them up. Um, I just think they're absolutely amazing, and I get all of my components from them, and they are so helpful. Check them out, guys. That's overclockers.co.uk. Anywho, uh, let's go to temps now. Uh, my house temperature is roughly around 20 degrees, because we have the little ones. We like to keep it nice and warm. Um, I was idling before the laptop cooler um, at 50 degrees. Now, as you can see, with my laptop cooler now connected, we're down into the low 30s, uh, which is absolutely amazing. We've taken almost 20 degrees off there, like 17 degrees we've probably knocked off. Um, you know, can't really complain at that. Um, I will do a video, like I say, I'm going to do some gaming videos as this channel progresses and moves forward. Um, so I will then, when I start to do those, I will show you... Uh, some game intents uh, with and without as a comparison because at the end of the day I've seen a lot of these homemade laptop cooler videos and people are saying uh, You know they're, they're giving you a how-to guide on how to make them which is absolutely amazing Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying any of those videos are bad But the thing I found with them and I found in the comments I've read through the comments You know people were saying, you know, give us some give us some readouts. Give us give us some feedback You've said that this laptop cooler works, but you, you haven't backed it up with, uh, you know, any evidence of uh, showing you some temps, etc. like that. Um, so my aim is, uh, as the channel progresses, I'm going to start doing some game videos. Uh, I'm going to start doing more hints, tips, uh, and little useful information for laptop gaming. Um, and also, I will probably do my next video as a full review on, on this brilliant laptop that I've brought from Gigabyte, uh, it's it's my first gaming laptop because as I stated, I had a, had a desktop for many many years, or had loads actually. Um, but with children and I move around a lot with my job, I've gone to laptops. Um, this is my first one. I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, it handles any game I want, you know, on high and hot ultra settings with a breeze. You know, it's absolutely amazing. So uh, yeah. And feel free to comment, you know, I see a lot of people saying, oh, why all the negative comments on my videos, etc. I actually welcome negative comments. Uh, I know that sounds very stupid, but for this channel to progress and to improve and get better, you know, I, I need, you know, give, give me your feedback. If you think something's not great, then tell me and, you know, I will do my absolute best, guys, to, uh, you know, try and try and improve try and try and uh, grow the channel to to suit your needs and um you know together we can probably 
you know, build quite a great channel. Hopefully, it's my aim. Uh, like I say, I'm going to do some reviews. I'll do, um, I'm going to be doing some videos, etc. Um, and, you know, drop in the comments if you want to know more about, like, heating problems of laptops or, or setups for gaming laptops. If you're new to it, like me, um, you know, I'm new on the scene of laptops anyway, but I've been, you know, building rigs and things for over 10 years now. So, you know, drop in the comments if you want to see a specific video um, about a certain thing, then let me know. And I will do my best to give you a video. Like I say, I'm going to do a review on this laptop because I haven't seen on YouTube yet this um, this fairly new laptop from Gigabyte. Um, it's not it's not their high end model or anything. It's sort of mid range for Gigabyte. They do some cheaper ones. They do some you know a lot dearer ones. But it, you know it's got a 970 in it. It's got an i7 quad core, uh, which is 3.5 gig. It's absolutely amazing. I will do a full review in the next video. So. Uh, Thanks for watching, guys. I hope I haven't bored you too much. I hope I've given you some information. Um, and, you know, any, drop in the comments if you want any help with making this little table. Basically, this video was to show you this little table and to introduce myself uh, to the world of YouTube and sort of say, you know, what my aims are for the channel and how I go forward. Um, you know. Drop in the comments if you want any help tips on this table if I've gone too quick through the review. or Well, it's not a review as such. It's just you know, a how-to guide or, or what I've done then, let's say. Um, drop in the comments and I will follow all my videos' comments. I will try and get back to each and every comment at, you know, if I can. Like I say, I have three kids, so you know I will do my best. And um, stay tuned uh, for more videos, more games, uh, more reviews. And please subscribe, rate, help the channel grow. I'm new to this, uh, but I, you know, without you guys, this isn't possible. So, you know, try and uh, let's get behind this channel and help it grow. Right, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I hope I've helped you in some way today. Thanks very much.